folks in this video i will walk you through the installation and configuration of a resource manager high availability okay so till uh, as you know the resource manager is the uh, core component of yarn okay so which is responsible for uh, managing the jobs mainly the uh, resource management and scheduling so these jobs are done by the resource manager and if you uh, check uh, the yarn uh, and you go to the instance you can see the various components so resource manager node manager and job history server so the resource manager is the master component and it will be running in one of the machine and node managers are the slave component and job history server is responsible for tracking the logs so till uh, cdh5 so the resource only one resource manager is supported per uh, system and there is a high, heavy, a heavy probability like uh, so if this resource manager goes down the entire system will become uh, inaccessible i mean uh, uh, entire system won't be able to use because no jo no jobs would be able to submit to the system also the existing jobs fails so after uh, cdh5 onwards i mean uh, cdh5 onwards uh, uh, hadoop introduced the resource manager high availability okay so where uh, we can have multiple uh, resource manager i mean uh, one in active and other in standby state so when the job is running uh, so if one uh, active goes down and uh, uh, the standby uh, changes to active state so again the jobs can continue uh, from the uh, uh, I, I mean the last saved point to uh, onwards so there is no need to uh, restart the job so jobs can continue from uh, the new resource manager again uh, so if you want to uh, look more into the theory part you can just google uh, here and uh, cloudera uh, resource manager ha okay just uh, go to that link and uh, go through this and uh, you will get uh, i mean uh, so the entire theory part is described here and how this work what is the architecture and how this uh, work and what is the fencing mechanism and how we can uh, do an automatic and manual failover and uh, the process which is involved for uh, enabling this high availability so in this video uh, my main intention uh, my main focus is to uh, do this resource manager ha by using cloudera manager okay so for that uh, so what i'm i'll i'll, I'll go to my main uh, page then uh, go to yarn okay so select yarn then uh, go to this action and in action at the bottom you can see enable high availability okay so go to the action page action go down and uh, here is the option high availability just click that option so here uh, okay so you can see already one node in the selection list so which is our existing resource manager so you can have one more uh, resource manager okay so let me select one more so any any one i can select so i'm selecting so this one okay that's it then continue So it will uh, try to do some configuration then it, it will uh, try to add a new uh, resource manager so once that is done it, it will uh, do a, a redeployment configuration and then uh, start the services so after that you will have one active resource manager and one uh, standby resource manager so if the active one goes down then automatically the uh, standby will uh, become active and continue uh, the jobs okay so now uh, this is done uh, so you can click the finish and you once you uh, click finish you can see so we have added one more uh, resource manager so that will be in uh, standby state okay so we have got two resource manager one active and one standby so let's uh, try to execute one job okay so now uh, we will uh, do a test so you can see uh, one in active and then one in sta standby okay so this is in active so whenever you submit a job so this will take care of this one so let's try to submit a, a job okay so let me uh, uh, 
try uh, sample uh, my produce job sample uh, okay so let me go back to root okay and to find uh, i can find iphone name star hadoop star example i just need to find out hadoop example jar uh, jar file okay so here it is okay so let me go back to uh, my user id okay then uh, execute this job hadoop jar whatever the jar file so let me try a sample uh, pi uh, with uh, 50 mapper and uh, samples per mapper is 10 so it will uh, do a simple uh, map reduce job by uh, using this one and it, it try to run uh, 50 mappers okay okay so we can ignore that so now this is running on uh, this particular 